Start painting. In the previous video, we have showed you how to prepare your marbling solution, paints, and workstation. If you have not watched that one yet, we recommend you go back and watch that one first, so you can be sure that everything is well prepared for your first marbling artwork. Before you start painting, we recommend that you take a piece of scrap paper and pull it across the surface like this. This is to make sure the surface is clean and dust-free. Then, select your first paint color, and from about one inch height, carefully drop a drop of paint on the surface. You can add as many drops and colors as you like. You can place colors next to each other or right on top of each other. Don't worry about colors mixing. You will see that each color will stay separate, creating a beautiful sharp contrast. Then, you can pick one of your tools and trace it across the surface to create intricate marbling patterns. When you are happy with your design, you can transfer it to your paper. For this, carefully place an art sheet on the surface of the liquid. It should not be submerged, but float on top of the surface. Carefully tap in on each corner to make sure that the whole sheet has made contact with the surface. Then, carefully lift it off the surface and trace it across the edge of the tray like this. Wow, look at that beautiful design you have just created. Put it down in the drying area you have prepared and you can start making your next design. You can reuse the same batch of liquid for many art pieces. Before you start your next artwork, you can trace a piece of scrap paper across the surface to remove any excess paint from the surface. It is possible that some of the paint will sink to the bottom. This is okay, as long as it is not on the surface of the liquid, it will not show on your artwork.